We're here down in Southampton at the Griffin Yard, about to drive one of the most extraordinary boats I think I've ever had the pleasure of seeing. This is the Glider SS18. It is extraordinary. We've got these huge 60 foot long aluminium wave piercing hulls with a composite body set up way above the actual surface of the water. What makes it so unique is that these sponsons have almost no drag on them at all. So they've got th four separate 300 horsepower Yamaha supercharged engines from the jet skis which are actually inside these hulls. But because everything is concealed within it, there is no drag at all. So the whole point is that they have almost no drag, about the same drag as a traditional rowing eight. So it will go extremely quickly because there's nothing holding it back. At full speed, they're hoping to get above 50 knots. And because of these long sponsons, it will just go straight through the waves. So the theory is that it will be incredibly fast, incredibly efficient, and incredibly comfortable. So hopefully, we're going to get a chance to experience that for ourselves in a minute. So there's some extremely clever thinking going on here. So we've got these aluminium hulls, aluminium supports, and then the top of the hull is, is composite material. But just an example, so the breathers for the engines are tucked right up under here. You can see there's some little grills in there, so the air gets sucked in there, comes down the leg and into the engine bay uh, to feed the supercharged engines, because they, they suck an enormous amount of air in there, and then the exhaust is exited underwater. So it keeps it cool, it's very efficient, and it means that everything is well clear of the water, so there's no water getting down there. So to get on board, there are these little steps leading up one of these wing-like structures and a nice little handrail, which as you can see, glides up and down so that when you're finished with it, it sits absolutely flush with the bodywork. Neat touch. The cockpit is unlike anything you've ever seen before on a boat. It really has more in common with a supercar or possibly even a plane. We've got these five seats laid out, racing-style bucket seats, and up front is the helm position itself. Take a look at this helm position. It's quite unlike anything I've ever seen before. The wheel is from a dragster. Uh, we've got four racing throttles controlling the engines. Uh, we've got um, a port and starboard as well as front and back. And over here are the reversing buckets. So they just control an actuator that pull the bucket down. Everything is controlled with these two touch screens, built-in glass Garmin screens. It's all touch screen, you've got the engines, you can scroll through, you can see uh, the, the, the amount of fuel you've got forward and backward. So the whole trim of the boat is controlled, not with conventional trim tabs, again, they would add drag, but by ballast systems. So you can move the fuel front and back, and it's actually got water ballast, so you can get as much as a ton of water forward or backwards to control the trim of the boat when you're at speed. It's all about minimising drag. And like all true supercars, or in this case super boats, you've got the champagne cooler for your drinks underway and a very powerful JL Audio stereo system. And behind here there is a boot so that there is room for your luggage, your fenders, your anchor and of course the obligatory golf clubs. We got four of these 300 horsepower supercharged Yamaha jet ski engines and its own bespoke water jets. And it's quite a beast. You do have to concentrate a little bit, just balancing everything out, keeping everything in a straight line. But like everything, you get used to it, get a feel for it. But it's the way it rides over the surface of the water that is quite unlike anything else I've been on. And we've got a bit of a, a weight from a little bit. Yeah. Just turn into that wake a little bit and I can see the photo boat bouncing all over the shop. Yeah. yeah. We just went straight through it. Well we've just been out and that was really quite extraordinary. It's unlike any other boat I've ever driven. The way it rides over the surface is, is really something else. You're so detached from it up here, you're riding well above, it must be six feet above the surface of the water. Uh, and yet you've got those two 
very thin hulls that just cut through it with neutral buoyancy. You can actually affect the trim of them a bit by taking on ballast and pumping the fuel backwards and forwards, but at neutral buoyancy they just cut straight through. So really when uh, there was only sort of small washes and wakes of maybe two, three feet, but if you line it up perfectly, get them head on, it just cuts straight through it. If it's coming from the side, there's still a little bit of movement. You can't do anything about that, but it is an extraordinary feeling. Um, this is very much the prototype and there's a lot of work still to do, but when all four engines are running, it's a sensational experience.